So there's a lot of controversy out there about uh, the concept of the Amazon FBA guru and why are people selling courses instead of just doubling down on their Amazon businesses. I get that sort of question a lot. I wanted to make this quite impromptu video for you guys um, just as a, I guess, a 2019 commitment to transparency. So I'm just going to give you my numbers. I will say that the Amazon FBA numbers, they're not finalized yet. I have to go and finish my bookkeeping and probably change from cash accounting to accrual accounting. That's a story that I'm not going to talk about. So bear in mind that the Amazon FBA numbers that I am about to show you may have a variance, uh, at least in some of the, the expenses of, I don't even know what percentage. So I'm going to give you the numbers. I'm going to show you what my Amazon business uh, is making me. And then I'm going to show you how much money I made selling courses and from everything else through this YouTube channel about Amazon, about selling on Amazon. So I'll talk about Amazon FBA first. I'll go through these numbers. I'll talk about the numbers, where I'm getting them from, why they're not finalized, you already know. Basically, Amazon US, I uh, sold just under $2 million. So this is top line revenue. This is just the sales figures. Um, and if you want to see the source for that, I will get it from here. I think this is my, so this is my US account. I'm using Celix. Now Celix doesn't include all costs. Um, and it's actually the cost it's calculating. Um, you have to input the unit costs into Celix in the first place. And so I need to go and confirm them first of all. And then there's also the other expenses that Celix isn't including. But this is for the last like 365 days. Um, you can see the date range there and that's the profit margin. So to get uh, the top line revenue, I just copied that number. I'll show you later on. I won't go back into this again, but this is where all of the costs are, which I'm going to show you later in the um, in the spreadsheet. And so I basically just copy that into there. And again, this excludes a lot of fixed expenses. Uh, it doesn't include storage, doesn't include salaries, things like that. But that's a good starting number, okay? So uh, I guess gross profit, or I don't even know what you'd call it, would be $484,000, and that's in the US. I also sell in the UK. Um, so this is my UK account now. Exactly the same thing. Obviously, numbers much smaller. So those are, I also sell in the EU, by the way, but I just put, like, I didn't even go in and count these because it's not really much. So that's my revenue for my Amazon business, right? So that's 2,080,525, give or take. And this isn't calendar year. I'm going from uh, yesterday until today's the 18th of January. So I went to 18th of January, 2018. So that's top line revenue. Um, and then, whoops, I just <laughs> completely unhit all of that. Those are the expenses that I just showed you in Celex. So I, what I did was I took the US numbers, which are there, added on the UK numbers, which are there, um, and then added them in together. So you can see that. Yep. So I think I've, I just made this spreadsheet right now, by the way. So I hope it's accurate. And again, this, this isn't my bookkeeping method or anything. I'm just doing this as an estimate to show you guys. Um, so that's out of Celix, all of these ones. And I mean, feel free to go and co copy these numbers into something if you want to like, you know, like try and reverse engineer what I'm doing. Um, you can calculate my margins and everything from this if you want to. I did have a lot of doubts about making this video, but whatever, here it is. Uh, that's VAT from the UK. Now the everything else is the big one. And this number I've literally just made up. So this is salaries that I'm paying to my team because I have people employed under me um, who <laughs> who make all of this possible. So that's salaries. It's also uh, storage costs coming out of Amazon. It's also uh, refunds I actually include in here. But if there's an adjustment to be made, that needs to go out of there as well. That's third-party storage. Um, all of these other little expenses, which add up to be a, quite a big number. And so that could vary a bit. <laughs> I, I don't know what that number is yet. I have to go through and work that out properly um, in the next couple of weeks. So on total revenue of 2 million, nearly 2.1 million for roughly the last 365 days, uh, I had total expenses of 1.662 million. Okay, so that comes out to a net profit of $417,000. Um, again, I, I feel kind of uncomfortable sharing this number, but that's what it is. That's my Amazon FBA business. Um, I've shared, you know, sell essential screenshots and everything, or actually like videos enough times on this channel, I'm not gonna go back into that now, um, but that's my Amazon FBA business. Um, so having said that, so that's what it did in the last year then, how much am I making as an Amazon guru, as somebody selling information 
the information that I've learned doing this, which I'm now giving to other people to do the same thing, how much am I making from that? And then I'll talk about why am I doing that? So if we go over to YouTube now, and I'm calling this YouTube, this is actually a, it's a business, it's an LLC that I have, and that basically counts for all the money that I'm making through this. So it's, um, it's ads through videos like this one, you might see an ad at the start, um, that's where that ad revenue is coming from. And I'm actually gonna bring these up, I'll show you what they look like, I'll show you in the YouTube dashboard. Um, and the next one is affiliate programs. So what that is, and I'll show you that in a sec as well, basically, um, if I link you to a piece of software or almost anything, but in this case, it's mainly software, and then you click on that and you actually go and sign up, then normally they will give me a kickback. And you'll see this on basically the internet, um, not just YouTube, but also web pages, everything like that. Um, people will try and refer you to courses, all of that stuff that is all affiliate programs. And so they are gonna give sometimes a large percentage, sometimes a small percentage as a kickback back. So as, as, as a probably the biggest example on the internet is the Amazon affiliate program. And so if you see links linking you to Amazon to go and buy something that's been recommended in a video or whatever else, um, the person who created that link will get, I don't know, two to 10% or something like that back from Amazon when you go and click through that link and then buy the product. Uh, and then the probably, probably the most interesting source of income through this YouTube business is my Amazon course. So that's the FBA Freedom Accelerator. So YouTube ad revenue since inception, since I started this channel was $2,095. And I'm just gonna pause this for a second. I'll bring up YouTube and just show you what that really looks like. Okay, so this is my YouTube channel. You can go into your dashboard and then you can see um, all of the analytics, but specifically now we're looking at revenue. Um, and so just to be clear, this is, these are the ads that you'll see before my videos, um, you know, the five second thing that you can normally click through. So there's that. And then sometimes within the videos as well, you'll see ads basically all, or a kick a portion of that money. I don't even know how much it is. goes back to me for displaying the ads, right? So yeah, it's 800, uh, $825 in the last 28 days. You can see that there. And there's a limitation where if you're a new YouTube channel, you can't run ads. So that took a while for me to be able to do. And I, I think I, I started what back here. And then I turned it on when, when I could. So that's been running over the last couple of months. And you know, it's, it seems to be pretty constant. I don't know why it jumped up so much there, um, but that's my YouTube ad revenue. Okay, next, affiliate programs. So I already described uh, how they work um, and I'll just show you these numbers. Basically the main ones for any Amazon channel that you view will normally be these uh, like product research tools. So Jungle Scout, Fire Launch, I have links to both. Um, and what it looks like is this, right? So it's current earnings, total earn to date is that number uh, there. And just to just to be clear what that looks like on my channel, the way that I earned that money is, so this is one of my videos. If you scroll down in my description, um, down here to tools that I use and recommend. So these are only tools that I use and do recommend. Um, basically these Google links are short links that then have an affiliate code and they, that one will take you to viral launch and it'll have my code apply. And so if you purchase through that, then I will get a kickback as well. So anyway, um, total for affiliate programs over the last eight months, 3,381. So yeah, it's, it's not huge. The big thing that I think, you know, you probably came here to see is the Amazon course. So as an Amazon guru, normally you're selling information about how to get started selling on Amazon. Um, so this is my course. And in the last two months since I started, or even just if you count the start of the channel as the total time period, then um, I've made uh, just over $100,000 from selling that course, okay? Uh, and by the way, if you wanna go and try and create some transparency for yourself and you wanna see how many courses are people selling, go and type in the Facebook group. Normally they'll have like a private Facebook group for students only. And if you can search that and find the number of members then just take the price of the course, multiply that number of members times the price, uh, and you know roughly how much revenue they've made, that guru has made through their course. Plus or minus a bit, but that'll tell you. Um, and so you can see some people are making millions of dollars literally through these courses. Um, and most people are making probably probably a lot more than this, to be honest. Um, but yeah, go check that out if you want to. The reason why I'm telling you this, or at least this right now is is that there's no reason why this needs to be in the dark. And if there is 
somebody trying to keep this in the dark from you, it's probably because they're trying to mislead you in some other way. And so, for example, if they're showing you, you know, like all of these flashy things and how wealthy and how, you know, like how many sports cars they have in their garage, most of the time that money to buy the flashy things came from selling the information um, in their course, right? And so, yeah, it, it's just, it's not good. I don't think it's good form. It doesn't sit with me. And so I don't see any other reason why you wouldn't just be putting this information out there. So that's how much I made for my course, $100,000. Um, and then coaching, I don't do it, uh, at least not at this stage, and I have no plans to, so that's zero. So total revenue for my Nomad Media, which is my this business, uh, is $109,000. Um, now talking about expenses, if we bring this down, I'm not gonna go through that, but basically there aren't really any expenses to doing this. However, it takes a lot of time. So whereas Amazon now, and I'll, I'll show you these numbers, I'll go through these numbers in a second. Actually, I'm just gonna get rid of this and just show you that. Um, I have found personally that being an Amazon guru takes up a crap load of time. Whereas actually running a successful Amazon business, the average person or the average guru isn't running a successful Amazon business. But if you are, it doesn't actually take that much time. And so I'll just go down here and show you. I spent more or about twice as much on YouTube in eight months as I did managing or growing my Amazon business. So that Amazon business, that was over 12 months. That was 500 hours over 12 months. And I spent a thousand hours on YouTube in total, right? Um, so I'm one of the few entrepreneurs that I know that actually tracks all of my work hours. And the tool that I use to track those hours is Toggle right here. Uh, just checking that there's no private stuff on here. I don't think so. Anyway, the, the, this is my hours that I've worked on my on my business projects uh, over the last year. And so FDM2, that is my um, YouTube channel, that's this. And then Project Freedom is my Amazon business. And so I know down to the minute, not just for myself, but it's for my team as well, um, how much work I spent on each project. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. The, the reason why I track that, or well, there's a lot of reasons, but in this case, the important thing is that once you start earning money, earning good money, this is like fantastic money, and I never imagined that I would earn anything like this. Don't get me wrong. But the reason why it's so important to track your hours is once you're earning money and you have a system or a methodology or a business or a business process that can reliably generate you dollars, then you start realizing that it's your time that's the limitation. And so we're always focusing on earning more money, trying to you know increase money so we can buy pretty things again or whatever, but we don't realize how much time that's taking out of our actual lives, our, our personal lives, which is, you know, it's the only time that we have on this earth. So I'm incredibly um, interested in, in tracking that and understanding it. And so that's why I track these because the most important metric isn't dollars earned. So it's, that's a really nice number. That's a really nice number too, but how much time did it actually take me to generate that, that amount or that amount? And so you need to know the hours worked, and yeah, I mean, honestly, looking at this for my for my specific case as an Amazon guru with a with a good Amazon business, um, if I was just purely doing this just for the dollars, I would stop producing YouTube videos. I would stop supporting my students and my course, and I would just double down on Amazon, which is which is quite funny to say because I guess the impression out there, and it's probably often the case is that, you know, people sell courses because the money's so much easier. Now I'm gonna talk more about that in a second, but in my case, doing things the way that I'm doing them, where each video on, on this channel, uh, this one's gonna be a quick one, but most videos take me a full day, seven to nine hours, sometimes more, when you include the planning, um, the, you know, writing everything out, researching everything to make sure that what you're saying is correct, uh, and then actually filming it, which takes a long time, and then editing it, and then uploading it, doing all of that stuff, doing the SEO. It's a full day, at least for me. Um, I spend a lot of time talking to people as well, to re replying to comments. So all, all of that I am including in these hours. Um, and $105 an hour in US dollars, because I'm Australian, is a freaking, is a, is a large amount for me, or at least it was like a few years ago. So I still, I still appreciate that amount, but understand that it's all relative. And so when I'm earning now more than $700 an hour in my Amazon business, it's really hard to put that in perspective. If I was just doing this for money, yeah, I would <laughs> I would be focusing back on Amazon. By the way, side note, if you're about to do something or you are doing something that 
is just difficult to, to take as a person and as a, as a character because you are getting attacked or maybe people are judging you or, you know, people are basically looking down on you um, for what you're either about to do or are doing. I recommend check out Stoicism. This is called The Daily Stoic. I'm going through this day by day. It's basically one uh, meditation or one facet of Stoic philosophy that you can then digest on a daily basis. I've obviously just started this and it's been very helpful for me. The main takeaway so far is to recognize that it's your perception. It's not the world around you. You can't control the world around you, but you can control your perception of those events, of people's judgments, um, of what people say to you. It really comes down to your inner sphere of control. So anyway, back to why I do this. Um, for me, honestly, and I'm just speaking for myself, I'm not speaking for anybody else, um, any other gurus, anyone else selling on Amazon, a large part of why I, what I do this is to learn new things just for the sake of learning new things and then basically bet on the fact that because I actually enjoy learning new things and exploring new possibilities, and but very few people do, that generally if I can direct that learning in the right pathways, I'll not only be able to make a lot of money doing it, which you know, depending on your perspective, um, I've proven that to be true is that I think that's a lot of money. So not only make a lot of money while learning cool, interesting things, but then also be able to show other people or teach other people what I've learned so that they can also make a lot of money or at least like improve their lives in a significant way and then spread that on. And it's I talked about this with a friend once, um, but it's this concept of these ripple effects where you and I and everybody else in this world, we all have some role to play and we all influence the world around us in some way, shape or form. It's impossible to not have that impact. And that can be a big impact. It can be a global thing. People can see videos like this from around the world, not saying that my channel is you know, making that much of an impact or anything, or it can be you, your family, you know, your spouse, your partner, your siblings, your friends, all of these things, we're all connected and we all have these little ripple effects. So my philosophy is that I can choose how big to make that ripple and whether to make it a positive ripple or a negative one. Uh, and I am choosing to make it both a positive ripple, hopefully to everybody else around me and as large as possible. Uh, I do want to grow that. So a lot of what I do is around growing that influence, honestly. Um, and again, I do believe that you can make money for yourself, a good live a good life, financially free, do that while also empowering other people with the tools to do that for themselves. So for example, if you want to start a YouTube channel and you're interested in something like this or this personal branding um, aspect, that's what I was most interested in last year was doing that. If you want to learn from, from me about that, I don't know, happy to reach out. If you have a YouTube channel or you're an Amazon guru and you're watching this or you're an Amazon business owner um, and you're watching this and you're trying to like compare numbers or whatever else, I'm interested to, to hear from you as well. So feel free to message me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really about those ripple effects. I have learned a lot doing this. I definitely, I'll be completely honest, uh, I did think that I would make more money per hour doing this YouTube Amazon guru thing than Amazon itself. Uh, and I'll talk about that for a sec now. The reasons why that should be the case, and this is a very pragmatic, very practical reason for why there are so many people who are pretending to sell on Amazon and then selling courses about it, but don't actually sell on Amazon successfully. The reason is, is that information is it, like, you can see here how much revenue I made and then how much expenses I had to pay to make that revenue. It's basically nothing. I could pay a lot more in ads and that would bring my expenses up, but I don't need to go and, and put all this money into inventory, which is risky. I don't need to wait uh, four months to get that cash back, which again is risky. Um, there's just it's a lot less risk so this money that i've earned is literally in my bank account whereas with amazon i am getting the money back into my bank account as well but this youtube thing has only been going for eight months amazon has been going for uh two and a half years now and so if i look at this as an entrepreneur as a businessman and i see as well that when it's information it's a digital product you can scale that i can't scale the mentorship aspect um that doesn't scale because that's my time but the actual product itself, um, or at least the basic information contained within it, the videos, I can reproduce them a million times um, without paying anything extra. So it makes sense that people are trying to sell you courses, basically is what I'm trying to say. Because it's, you know, if you get past the, the uh, inauthentic, the fake aspect of it, 
it's just a more efficient business model. So I would say if you have some real information to sell something of value, then feel free to start a digital product based business instead of an Amazon FBA business. But just don't be inauthentic, don't be fake, don't be a literally a scammer. If you are lying to somebody or you are misrepresenting the truth, the authentic truth, then you should take a deep inwards look at yourself before you do that. Otherwise, go for it. Um, a few other things I wanted to cover. Where are we? So this is another really common question is like, oh, okay, another point is, well, if I'm giving away all of my secrets, then what do I have left? You know, why, aren't, why would I want people to compete with me? Honestly, go look at the size of Amazon. Go and see how incredibly massive it is. Maybe one person will be competing with me out of everyone that I've impacted through this channel. Um, I don't care about that. And honestly, like, not only is the financial benefit going to far outweigh the, not only the um, potential cost, like there's only a chance of it actually costing me anything, but the magnitude of that cost is going to be small versus as you've seen, big financial reward. Um, but it feels good to actually help people as well. And so I wouldn't mind paying that small price of like one person competing with me, maybe, and I'd probably beat them anyway, versus just like all the good vibes I get from everybody. Um, for, for, for giving out all this information, whether it's paid or whether it's free. So that's really not an issue is like the fear of giving away my secrets. Um, what else? And, and why not just expand my portfolio? Why spend my time doing that? Well, I kind of talked about that. Yeah, if I wanted to earn more dollars per hour, I guess I would. Although here's another thing, and I'm really just talking you know straight from my mind right now. So this is a um, stream of consciousness video. Although it is easier now to scale this one, I believe. And so when I look at my plan for this year, uh, it's harder to, for example, I could probably double this from 100 to 200, much easier than I can double that from 400 to 800, if that makes sense. So when I look at this, I can see the benefits of this like digital products, YouTube and, and Facebook ads based business versus having all of these products that I need to go and spend all this time launching. So that's one reason. Um, the other reason goes back to what I said before about learning and it's it's not that interesting to me to just continue launching more of the same products just to get more income. I'm financially free now. Um, this background is, I'll talk about this in another video, but this is my new home and it's this is like a bucket list dream item that I'm like ticking, tick, ticking off this year. And so I've, I've, I've already reached the point where I'm ticking off my bucket list. And so once you've done that, or once you're doing that and, and you don't have, I don't have any financial commitments, um, an additional dollar isn't worth that much money. It's really about the other things that go with it. So whether it's learning, whether it's helping somebody or being able to maybe, maybe for me to use that money to help people in my life, uh, whatever that reason is, there's more to it than just the dollars, if that makes sense. A few last things I want to say is I, I don't know what, when you see these numbers, I don't know what you're thinking. Maybe you're again, trying to reverse engineer what I've done, trying to see my profit margins, whatever else. I don't mind. Um, the the one key takeaway, if there's anything that I want you to take away from this video, it's to see these numbers and just to recognize that this stuff is possible. This stuff is real. Um, both of these, whether you choose to go into some sort of digital marketing, personal branding, trying to sell digital products, or whether you go into trying to sell uh, products on Amazon FBA, both work. It's really not about the business model because they're both freaking great. The internet is this crazy, awesome opportunity for normal, average people like like you or me to go and do these things in a couple of years to start from zero, fail a bunch of times, learn a lot, recognize how valuable those learnings are, get better with time. And then after a year, maybe two years, whatever else, if you're quick, maybe six months, um, you can be financially free and, and just loving life. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, this is one of my principles for 2019 is to just be transparent. So I'm doing it <laughs> starting with this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found something valuable. Leave me a comment, leave me a like. All of those things really help. Um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in the next video.